Okay, let's try and do this completely unprepared. I have not transformed these before. I've literally just taken them out of the bag. So we have this one. Ooh, knocking the camera. This one. And uh, this one. They all appear to be exactly the same, just different colours. And they are... Strange. Yeah, like quite a chunky front end. Uh, possibly an eye. Big like wing ear things possibly like what frills would be what the neck something like that and a little tail fin are these supposed to be like dragon cars or something let's say there gv metal workshop i think that is yeah it's workshop sure okay uh as you do not giving too much away underneath. I think I should be able to work that out, though. Okay. I don't know what these are. No idea. Uh, they're all the same. Just thought we'd have a look. So, we'll get a size comparison. Legacy drags. <clears throat> so, they're easily Voyager towards leader scale. They are huge. Um... Yeah, the thing is, they actually look really cool. It's one of those things, they genuinely look kind of cool, so... You know, slap of paint, like, I don't know why there's randomly purple paint there, not very thick either, but I don't know, fair enough, you know. There's some on this one. It's like someone's just gone around at the end and just thrown random smattering of paint at it. Is smattering a correct word? I don't care. Should try and transform one? Okay. Uh, well, these come out, but I don't know if they come out yet. Do they come out yet? No. Okay, so what moves first? Let's have a look, see. I guess this locks it all into place, so... Excuse me for a minute while I just wiggle about. It's gotta be the arm. It's gotta be the arms. Usually the arms. Doesn't want to come out. I don't know why. Is it pegged into here somehow? It is. Right, so do I need to un... Okay, it just comes off. All right, okay. So, we'll unpack that. We get a bit of parts for me. We'll take the arm out. See, now I'm wondering. Yeah, this just unpacks as well. Ah, parts for me. Come on. You're better than this. Rotate this through. Rotate up the toes. Split the legs. Uh, split the front. Rotate the arms down, and then, well, we're supposed to just plug these in the back or something like that. Let's just plug in there. Lower down? Yeah, go on those lower two, okay. And these arms, where do these plug in? The thighs? We can plug them into the thighs, I guess. Other way around. There you go. Plug them onto the thighs. Uh, it's a weird one. Not a huge fan of the whole parts for I me. Mean, can you actually see any of this? I apologise. Look at that. Um, there are actually eyes moulded in, like you know, eye shapes moulded in under the big purple streaks. Can you see any of that? So this paint's shocking. Um, the hands are a little bit eh, eh. Shoulders are shoulders are quite robust, quite like shoulders. I tell you what, let's raise the camera up a bit so you can actually see some of this. It's not that bad, you know. I mean, the parts forming's a bit. Eh. The actual figure itself doesn't look that bad. Let's transform another one, see if it looks better in different colours. So, uh, get you out of the way, butchy to the back. So now we know what we're doing, so we're going to parts form this off the top. Parts form this off the side, and this off the side. And if you don't like these colours, you can swap them around, which would make life easier. So you could uh, just get like these side panels, and that top panel, and put them on him, and the entire vehicle mode would be this kind of dark teal kind of turquoisey colour. That'd be quite cool. 
Uh, can you do a red one? You can do the red. Oh, you can just swap them all around. That'd be great. Rotate these out. Rotate the legs all the way over. There we go. Get the feet off. Split the legs. Split the front half. Rotate the arms down. And again, there is kind of a stormtrooper kind of face there, but these are like a... You know, like the war paint that goes across the cheekbone? That's more what this paint is, like cheekbone and down the nose. Looks really out of place. Ah, oh, well, alright. But that looks alright, that looks quite cool. Let's stick these bits on him. Okay, I'll stick that on there. I might do that, just, you know, swap the pieces around so I can get, like, a fully blue one and, yeah, that kind of stuff. Is that the way it wants to go? Yeah, go on. It's got these pegs on the bottom, like, you're supposed to do that. But that looks absolutely ridiculous. Why would I ever want to do that? So, no, no thank you. I mean, I could plug them back into the arms, because uh, they'd go there. But that would look even worse. I could plug them into the chest, but that would look worse. So what am I going to do? Okay, that looks all right. Uh, stay there. Stay. Get the last one. Uh, this one, that wheel. See how they're like split mushroom pegs. The top of this hook kind of came off uh, in the bag, and it was trying to jump off. What does that say? Earth mo mo movers. Yeah, something like that. I don't know. Pop this off. Pop this off. Pop this off, push the arms through, push the arms through. You know what, these aren't bad. The quality's not bad, the plastic is reasonably solid. Uh, it's got that slightly uh, powdery feel to it, but it's not bad. Bring that up, split the legs. I quite like these colours. They remind me of uh, that new Jazz that's coming out. That isn't Jazz, it's the G2 unused colours, even though Jazz was released in G2, so I don't, want, I don't know what they're doing now, but whatever. Whatever, Tangy Cheese Dorito Jazz is on the way. Or well, probably in shops, I don't know. They seem to sort of announce some tools and then put them in shops like two days later, so could be anywhere at this point. Oh, put that in there. And the face. So you can see the, the eyes and stuff. Well, the, the molded eyes are a lot better on this one. And the little streaks down the nose and underneath just look really stupid. But the head's not bad. Uh, doesn't turn it as moulded. But, you know what? They are kind of cool. I actually quite like those. <laughs> Throw a lick of paint at them. They'd be pretty good. I might end up doing that, you know. Just, if I end up with, like, a um, week off or something like that, I'll just get all these kind of things together, and I'll just blast them with, like, spray paint, and just highlight a couple of details. And that's it. They'll they'll look really cool. Uh, size comparison, that's what I need. So, well, I usually go for Wild Rider, and I don't think he's going to cut the mustard on this one, because uh, they're a bit big. Um, Tigertron. Yeah, they're, they're easily leader size, easily leader class. Um, I wish they had a, an elbow, but that's a standard thing I always moan about. You know, oh, what elbows? Uh, I wish the knees went the right way, but that's transformation. But all things considered, even with the little parts formery bits, I, they're, they're actually quite cool. I don't mind these at all. These are quite fun. Huh. And on that bombshell, I'm going to call it a day. So, uh, yeah. I shall scarper. I have no idea what these are called to find them for the Certoys link. I'll see what I can do, but I, I don't know what I'm doing. So, yeah. I shall be ugly. I shall be wretched. And I shall see all of you in the next one. Where you're going to randomly take off sections of my skin and swap them with someone else to make me look better. This gets really sinister if you go down that rabbit hole, doesn't it? Really, really weird. But I am going to swap those panels around so that the car modes are solid. Because the car modes look quite cool. Or dragon modes. I don't know. I don't know what they are. But I quite like them, so we'll, we'll, we'll go with that. Okie dokie. Bye!